Hey, boys and girls. So we're going to do our lesson on capacity now. And so when we do this, we are talking about liquid measurements. So the first one that we want to talk about is our cup. And so this is like a measuring cup in your kitchen. Maybe you want to go and check and see if you can find them too. But if you look on here, it says one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. Okay, so fluid meaning liquids. Then the next one that we have is a pint. So you see how it's about, it's, it's bigger than it. But on that one, I can fit two of these cups. So if I were to fill up to that line, I could pour two in these into this one and it will equal one pint, which is 16 ounces because eight times two is 16. The next one that we have is quart. Now on the quart, it doesn't tell us the ounces on here. It's going to talk about some metric units, which we'll talk about next week. But a quart is the same thing as four cups or four water bottles. So I could put four of these into there. Or it's the same thing as having two pints because it equals 32 ounces. And we said one cup was eight ounces. So eight times four is 32. And then the last one we have is the gallon. And a gallon is equal to 128 ounces, which is the same thing as four of these. And four times 32 equals 128. You can try that out. Or eight pints. And so on here, 16 times eight equals 128. You can try that out. Our last 16 cups can fit in here, which is 16 times eight, and again, you can try and figure those out on your own. The thing that I like best, and you'll have a video on here um, that talks about the gallon man. And so if you have that, you can think of this and it does it like king gallon. Okay, so a kingdom. The kingdom is the kingdom of gallon. So looking at our big gallon jug and we want to see what fits into that gallon. So the first one that we talk about fitting in there are the queens. There's four queens. Okay, and so that's four quarts. So I can put four quarts and it'll fit into that gallon. Then they talk about each of these quarts or each of these queens, maybe queen from the north, south, east, and west, each of them has, now in some it'll say a prince and a princess. In our video, it says two princesses, but so it has two peas that fit in there, two princesses or one prince, one princess. You can say it however you like. So in every one of these quarts, you can fit two pints. So that fits in there. Then the last part that they have for it is that in every pint, I can fit two cups. So each one of these gets two cups. Now for in the video, they say those two cups, you can think of them as two kitty cats, right? So two cats. And then I've seen where they do cutesy things that each of those kitty cats licks up eight ounces of milk. So on here, that's why a cup equals eight ounces and two cups will equal a pint, two pints will equal a quart, and four quarts equal a gallon. So it shows you so that it can help you out when you're doing some of your problems. So I'm going to prop this up so that you can see. We'll keep that. Hmm. I'll have to see if I can pull that up a little bit better for you so that you can look at it. Now, that helps you when you're doing some of your problems because we'll get questions on there that you might, it might say, I have two cups and that equals how many pints? So I got to look on here. So if I look at the two C's, I don't know if I should have used the darker marker. Two C's, they fit in one pint. So two cups equals one pint. Now what if I go backwards? What if I say how many, if I have four quarts, how many pints is that? 
So I look on here and if I see I have four quarts, now how many P's are in all four of those? So there's two, 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 two. So two, four, six, eight, that equals eight pints. So this can really help you out when you are comparing your um, different kinds of liquid measurements. So I hope that helps you out. If you have any questions with it, feel free to leave a message in the math flip grid. And then I will hit a reply back and you can just look for a picture of me and underneath your picture of where you sent it. And then I will answer your questions with it. But hopefully that will help you and all the videos that I have listed on there will help you to figure out your um, workbook pages. All right. Have a great day.